cute cabin tucked away in the woods is about as cozy as it gets. But if you're anything like me, you didn't come here to get comfortable. You came here to wake up early, to research and plot a route, to pack a bag, suit up, and hit the road. You came here to drive for hours on remote, rugged roads, to park up and say goodbye to any cell reception for a few days. You came here to feel the cold, rainy conditions, to hike for miles, hell, dozens of miles, and to climb thousands of feet in elevation. You came here to get lost, then find your way back, to step in puddles, trudge through bushes, climb over rocks and trees. You came here to drink creek water, to survive for days on granola bars and candy, and to sleep on the ground. You came here to hike in the dark, to turn switchbacks, hold onto ropes, climb over boulders, and to experience a feeling of complete isolation. You came here to remind yourself how small you are, but also how much you're capable of. Because when you do finally reach the summit and the clouds finally part, all of the misery you endured to get there, that's what makes the view so breathtaking. Over the years, I've become increasingly drawn to locations that are a little tougher to access. Longer hikes in harsher conditions tend to make for more rewarding results, but they also mean keeping my kit pretty slim. So when Zion sent me their new Crane M3, a gimbal seemingly ticking the boxes for both size and capability, I was intrigued. First of all, this thing is tiny. It's about the same size as most smartphone gimbals, which is great because it has a small footprint in my bag and is really easy to carry around. So it's great for those longer hikes where I need to really cut down on my kit. But because of that small footprint, I was skeptical that it could support my full frame camera. But with the right lenses, the Crane M3 not only supported my camera, but delivered impressively smooth footage. I especially liked that it had a very organic quality to it. We didn't get those jitters or robotic movements that you can sometimes get when using a gimbal. The gimbal includes all of the operation modes you would expect from one, but my favorite has to be POV mode, where all of the axes are unlocked and you can get some very organic, dynamic movements. They've also improved the durability. For most of this shoot, we were absolutely drenched in rain to the point that our cameras and lenses actually stopped working properly, but the Crane M3 actually never showed any signs of water damage. It's also really quick and easy to set up. They've improved the access locks and the quick release, which make it really easy to balance in the field. And the included expansion base is great for helping to balance it on the go and also for shooting time lapses. And finally, with an eight hour battery life and two hour charge time, the gimbal could easily last us the entire day and then be charged in time for our next shoot. With such a stressful shooting environment, we chose to focus on the basics, but there are plenty of other features to help you fine-tune your shots even more, like wireless camera control, motion time lapses, and the built-in fill light to name a few. I encourage you to use the link in the description of this video to learn a little more about exactly what this gimbal can do. That being said, after pushing the Crane M3 into the deep end, I can honestly say I'm really impressed. Simply put, it's a tool that provides great results without slowing me down. That's exactly the kind of gear that I look for, and for that reason, it definitely has a place in my camera bag going forward especially when I don't plan on getting too comfortable.